Hello YouTube, this is John. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to boot with a CD-ROM and how to enable the CD-ROM on your HP uh, Pro Desk. And this would work on other HP. In my case, I have the 7th generation desktop and I have Windows 11 installed on it. But I'm going to show you how to uh, how to enable the CD-ROM in case you're going to use the CD-ROM and also that USB drive. And this would cover both of them. So I'm going to show you by powering on the computer then i'll start with f10 so that we go to the bio system click escape to go back so when you reach here you can use your mouse my case here i'm going to go and i'll take this option advanced then i'll click on boot then you enable this usb usb boot storage boot and also cd-rom boot and this is how you do that so the next step you have to go ahead and scroll down and enable this legacy boot order you have to enable that option also then you go to secure boot you make sure this is enabled legacy support is enabled and some other pieces to me go to disable legacy and also to disable legacy and enable secure boot and when you try to boot with another operating system it won't work so this is how you do it so to save changes you're going to go ahead and click uh f10 and then you click enter to save changes and in order to check if our window is going to boot you click f9 uh, this is going to show us our cd-rom here uh, you can boot with legacy with that so i'm going to go ahead and look for the usb flash and we control alt delete to restart then i'll click f9 and we shall have our windows files we have our windows 11 files here then i'll click this in our case we don't have the cd-rom but if you have the cd-rom with the operating system it would work the same way. In our case, we're going to demonstrate with a USB. Uh, then, this is how it will work. It will start loading the Windows. The computer will restart. Then, to start loading Windows. Uh, this is just a quick video on how to enable USB boot options and the CD-ROM itself. And you're going to wait for the PC to load files from the USB. And then, you're good to go. So thanks for watching. If this video is helpful, please subscribe and also comment if you need any help. I have this PC with me here. I'll be able to help you out. So I'm going to stop from here. And let's wait for the blue screen. Oh, uh, this is what we get. I'm going to stop from here. Thanks for watching. You can watch my previous video on how to install Windows 11 step by step. Have a nice time. Goodbye.